Go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my great pleasure to be here again after two years. My name is Peter Fajet. I am from Prague, from Czech Republic. And I want to make some talk uh, about which I call the basic historical, philosophical and physical reasons for denial of main physical theories of 20th century. Mm. I think that we had uh, many models about uh, how the ether looks like and I think these are uh, important models which will be in future prepared for other physicists uh, but on this, <coughs> on this stage I think that uh, in fact we have to gather together uh, opinion uh, why in fact the mainstream the, by the mainstream the ether was removed and what is the reason for this step and try try to <coughs> bring back to physics, to physics uh, this main physical uh, subject uh, without which it is not possible to explain any physical actions in physics. The purpose of the physical theories by theoretical physicists produced in the 20th century, such as special and general relativity, quantum mechanics, force fields theories using force mediated particles, the Big Bang and the Higgs boson theories, is to conceal the existence of physical fields as a real material media. <coughs> force action of this media is replaced in these theories by the mathematics of kinematical quantities but in fact the kinematical quantities describe the physical material world which works on the principle of balance and change of pressure of density of material bodies and of the material force fields around these bodies. Special relativity has removed from the physics of the ether, the ether as a real physical media discovered by the many generations of physicists that hundred years last started exploring the phenomena of electricity and magnetism during the 19th century. General relativity eliminated from physics the ether as a real physical media of the gravitational field discovered by many gener generations of physicists around Newton. Big Bang removed the media <coughs> from the inter intergalactic space. The dark energy, energy about which the Hubble until the end of his life assumed that it may be the main cause of the observed redshift red in the spectra of galaxies. Quantum mechanics and the theory of Higgs boson removes from the physics the ether and quantum physics known, known in the initial media that creation and annihilation of matter particles from and into the electromagnetic waves. <coughs> Let me say about some historical facts in the development of the view of man about the surrounding physical worlds. Philosophers and astronomers of the culminant era of the development of Greek philosophy of the nature, Pythagoras, Democritus and many others were convinced, as is written in Newton's 
in sepia on page 5011, that under the stars drifting through the ether on a rotating spheres, in the sky the planets orbit around the sun, the earth as one of the planets orbits around the sun in an annual cycle, daily rotates around its own axis, that the sun in the, is in the center of the known universe to them. They had numbered five comets and were convinced that comets circulate like planets around the sun on a very eccentric orbit. They were convinced that the Milky Way is made up of individual stars and had named the center of Milky Way galaxy. They were convinced that the matter is composed of the smallest indiv indivisible particles of atoms. Uh, today, for the Greek atoms, we, uh, we would mark uh, the father indivis indivisible proton. From the uh, beginning of the explore, uh, exploration of the surrounding physical worlds, in addition, addition to the physical motion of the objects originated in the neutral mechanical action, which men could see, could see with their own eyes, a man meets also with the existence of the phenomena electricity and magnetism, which are his own A's in, invisible. but that by fields operates by motion on physical objects in its vicinity. Of the 6th century before Christ, there are written records of ancient Greeks, Thales of Miletus, Loa, Lodestone attracts iron because it has a soul, that mention that the magnetic property of Lodestone and electrical property of embers. In Greek mythology, ether represented pure substance which breathes the God. Aristoteles claimed that only the natural, natural motion of ether as the fifth element, which is locate, located in the area of the sky, is the circulation in the circle, and therefore stars are circulating on the celestial orbits. Perhaps also today this is the right way to explain currently observed compact rotation of galaxies. <coughs> new, power, uh, new, new power political structure after accession in the first century of the new era claimed the Ptolemy Geocentric imaging of the universe as the official and the only correlable imaging of the universe. And we can remember birth to death Jordan Bruno, who lectured at Oxford and claimed that the stars are, are remote suns surrounded also by exoplanets and that the universe is infinitive. Also, the condemnation of Galileo in 1633 to life imprisonment. This imaging of the universe persisted until several decades after Kepler. The reason for the provision of the Ptolemy geocentric imaging of the universe as the official and the only correlable imaging of the universe was its consistency with the idea of principle of creation. The main, main proof of the correctness of the Ptolemy geocentric imaging of the universe was found in the mathematics, the complex geometry of the cycloids, of the calculation of the motion of other planets around the Earth. Complex and complicated math of cycloids 
for which no one could give reason from the physical point of view was declared the finding of the order of the universe and the confirmation of the accuracy of the physical <coughs> condition that the earth is the center of the universe. Ptolemy mathematic, mathematically mathematical description of motion of planets, even though based on incorrect physical assumption, calculated the position of the planet on their orbits, even with better precision than physically rough, roughly right Copernicus heliocentric model of planetary motion along the circular orbits around the Sun, what was the reason why the Copernicus model was not accepted? Kepler, after 10 years of hard work finding the mystical mathematical formulas to explain the, da the data of the movement of the planets from the Tycho de Brahe precise astronomical observation, finally came to the simple mathematical rule of three that describe the movement of planets along the elliptical orbits around the sun. Based on the historical, based on the heliocentric model, Kepler did describe the kinematic of movements of planets by simple mathematics and with better accuracy than Ptolemy, but had not discovered the physical cause, I mean physical order by which is governed the movement of planets in solar system. <coughs> Kepler's simplification of the mathematical description of motion of the planets to the mathematically trivial relationships allow Newton to discover the physical cause and order which is governed by the mathematics of kinematic description of the orbital system, system of the solar system. Newton discovered that the physical cause determining the order of movement of celestial bodies is the existence of gravitational fields as a real physical substances existing in the surrounding of each mass body. The gravitational field around the mass body is inseparable from any mass body and neither came to the general validity of the law of mutual gravitational interaction of all matter. Newton explains the circulation of the planets around the sun so that any two celestial bodies through their own gravitational fields attracts each other just as a falling apple from the tree attracts also the earth though by neglectable force. The attractive forces <coughs> of, the, of gravitational fields are for a stable system of celestial constellation well balanced by centri centrifugal inertial forces and their mutual orbits and thus always circulate around the common center of gravity. In the case of negligible mass from the planets to the mass of sun, the center of gravity is located inside the sun as a result of what the movement it seems like only the planet circulates around the sun along the elliptical orbits. So the planets actually orbit around the sun, though not exactly around its center. Newton attributed the gravitational attraction without any doubt, so as many of his contemporaries, to the existence of force field as a real physical substance in the surrounding of, each, surrounding of each body. Uh, gravity, so, as, so that one body may act upon another at a distance through a vacuum without the medi meditation of anything else, 
by and through which their action and force may be conveyed from one to another is to me so great an absurdity that I believe no man who has in philosophical matters a competent faculty of thinking can ever fall into it. Gravity must be caused by an agent, agent acting constantly according to certain laws. Uh, this is this can be this station of Newton can be found in his letter to Bentley from 1693. This Newton belief is formulated in his main work where it states that gravity is as a certain power or energy diffused from the center to all places around to move the body that are in them. Newton to already known the existence of invisible phenomena of, of electricity and magnetism which uh, through force fields cause motion of other bodies at the phenomenon of gravitational force which is a much weaker phenomenon compared to electricity and magnetism, magnetism in the regards of bigness of their sources. At the same time with the discovery of gravitational fields around animal's body, Newton, together with Galileo and other physicists, discovered the existence of inertial force also inseparable from animal's body. <coughs> Contemporary physics 100 years since the, since the inception of relativity countless times publicly repeats false claims about the Newton notion of mutual gravitational force, forces as the force between two masses mass bodies acting immediately and remotely through the void space of vacuum which infi with infinitive speed of the action. Newton, however, holds gravitational force as the power through the medium and apparently assumes that final speed of gravitational force in this medium, what may be the reason why Newton interested himself and in calculated the speed of the sound in the, in the dear air. Relativity on the basis of plagiarism, plagiarism claims about the Newton's idea of gravitational force as the force acting at the distance from vacuum, then brings finally to the civilization the understanding of gravity as the curvature of non-material quantities of space and time, and as the greatest achievement of all history of human spirit. Most of physics, physicists involved, involved from 1900 to 1100 on intensive exploration of electric and mathematic, magnetic phenomena, Volta, Ampere, Orsted, Faraday, Ohm, Maxwell, Hertz, Edison, Tesla, came to full belief in the existence of the electric and magnetic force fields as real physical substance, substance called ether, and they confirmed this substance in the experiments. This substance can spread the vibration of this substance caused by oscillation of the sources of these fields, which may even be spread independently of this source and transmitted with this, with this source in the power into the substance. Let me recall for all this physicist statement of Maxwell, who in the very last clause of his treatise Declared, declared. In fact, whenever energy is transmitted from one body to another, there must be a medium or substance in which the energy exists. All theory leads to a conception of medium in which the propagation takes place. And this has been my 
constant aim in these treaties. The, con the conviction of physicists to the end of 19th century of the full existence of ether can be best seen in the search work of Lorentz, ether theories and ether models, 1901 and 92, examining the work of many distinguished physicists of 19th century on ether, Stokes, Planck, Fresnel, Maxwell, Kelvin, and Newman. In 1925, <coughs> Edwin Hubble bring his evidence confirming that the bright fog formations in the night sky in the meantime called nebulas are separate grouping of stars, galaxies and all the other stars that we observe in the night skies free with or with, with our own eyes belong to our galaxies the Milky Way. For proof of the galaxy, uh, for proof of the theory of the Big Bang, the current physics considers increasing the redshift with the distance, distance of galaxies measured in the spectra of galaxies firstly by Hubble. The Hubble himself, even when he was pressured at the the International Astronomical Union meeting in 1928, however, disapproved with this unilateral in interpretation until the, until the end of his life. Nobel Prize for Astronomy till the 1950s. was not granted and so Hubble didn't have to succumb to this pressure. Unlike Millikan, Nobel Prize in 1923, which with all respect to the greatness of his experimental physical skills, succumbed to the pressure and agreed to the validity of the relation for photon energy, this agreement of Milica was a condition of Nobel Committee for the award of Nobel Prize to Einstein in 1921 for photoelectric effects. Hubble, for the more likely explanation than explaining the redshift spectra by nuclear receipt of galaxies, considered the explanation of this shift by loss of light energy passing through medium in inter interstellar space. <coughs> we can quote from the work of Hubble, the observational approach to cosmology from 1937. The features, however, include the phenomena of redshift whose significance is still uncertain. Alternative interpretations are possible, and while they introduce only minor differences in the picture of the observational region, they lead to totally different conception of the universe itself. <coughs> the cautious observer naturally examines other possibility <coughs> before accepting the proposition even as a working hypothesis. He recalls the alternative formulation of the law of redshift, light loss energy in proportion to distance it travels through space. The law in this form sounds quite legible. Internebular space, we believe, cannot be entirely empty. This was the quote of Hubble. Also, we can quote from, from the paper of Essis, Hubble's cosmology from a finite expanding universe, the universe to a static endless universe, uh, which is in fact also in archive from 2006, and where it is concluded that we show by quoting his works that Hubble 
remained cautiously against the Big Bang until the end of his life, contrary to the state statements of many modern authors. Even today, the non-fiction documentary films of the most respected most respected television or most respect, respected web sources of information dedicated to the description of the evolution of opinion of mankind on the physical image of the universe state that the Hubble's observation are evidence for the expanded universe. Physics in 1932, Anderson and in 1955, laboratories in Berkeley, uh, with the discovery of production of pairs of particles and antiparticles of electrons and protons from electromagnetic radiation, brought a full proof of the existence of the ether. With mechanical waving of the magnet nearby Cooper wire, we produce electromagnetic radiation with the frequency equal to the frequency of the waving magnet. At sufficient frequency we produce <coughs> from electromagnetic radiation re really grasp mass of pairs of electrons and protons. This waving with magnet we can do for an arbitrary long time and produce any amount of electrons and protons, but from the magnets of wire not even piece mass waving. On the contrary, <coughs> with, the, with annihilation of these particles, antiparticle sparks arise to photons of electromagnetic radiation, which is subsequent scattering on the atoms, which is still ball, ball, ball in void space. Shell transfer to this ball its energy and completely dis dissipate into nothingness. We still bar after a short war up from the photons cool down again on the temperature of the universe around minus 270 degrees of Celsius. I mean we have under the current physics right before our eyes an experiment about the invalidity of the law conservation of mass and energy. <coughs> energy of the electromagnetic fields and subsequently mass of the electron and proton or protons we have under the current physics are created from nothing, waving a magnet around the wire, and this matter in annihilation and and this matter in annihilation and energy in scattering disappeared before our eyes into nothingness. <coughs> Cre creation of parts of particles and antiparticles is not a limited phenomenon of physics in laboratories, but it is a common, well-examined examined phenomenon of the interaction of magnetic radiation with matter. Electromagnetic radiation up to the energy of 1.02 mega electron volts interacts with substance in photoelectric effects or scattering processes, Compton relate, for interaction over 1.2 mega electron volts up to 2 giga electron volts electron positron pairs pair creation predominates and over 2 giga electron volts outweighs the creation of proton antiproton pairs in the universe and uh, nature all around us on the earth this phenomenon is continuously going on in a great quantity from the gamma radiation of radionuclides represented in the greater or less extent in every substance on the ground with energy up to 20 megawatt mega electron volts from store of lighting with energy up to 100 mega electron volts and from the high energy gamma radiation from 
18 giga electron volts to 10 tera electron volts. Incident on our Earth in the great quantity <coughs> from the universe. <coughs> so the so experimentally was confirmed the annihilation of protons and antiprotons, which is the conversion of power of mass into electromagnetic oscillation of the ether and vice versa experimentally was confirmed the creation of power of protons and antiprotons from electromagnetic oscillation of ether. <coughs> but the current physics considers in theory of Higgs fields that the Higgs boson is the only way of all particles of matter in the universe acquired its mass. Perhaps the current physics do not want, want to, to claim us that in creation of photon from electromagnetic radiation at energy <coughs> 2 giga electron volts or vice versa in this process of conversion of a proton into 2 giga electron was electromagnetic radiation between the proton and electromagnetic radiation stands energetically more than 100 times greater Higgs boson, 125 giga electron volts. I will shortly want to <coughs> say an overview of, uh, of the opposition of the physicists for the past hundred years against the physical image, image of the world forced by power stru structure to publish. After the Eddington's British expedition on Princip Islands for the purpose of observation a light band of stars near the sun at the eclipse of the sun in 1990, the greater part of mainstream physicists by the, uh, by the interaction tried to prevent of publishing a Dimitron's <coughs> article with bombastic subtitles upcoming in most mass journals, journals, mainly in the UK and Germany. After an unsuccessful intervention in 1920, the most respected physicist of the world, uh, uh, as being Leonard, Sommerfield, Nels, and others, based the Union of German Natural, Sci Natural Scientists and organized at the Conference Nyheim Putsch in Congress in 1922. Summerfield was president of the German Physical Society and from 1970 to that, 1950, each year proposed for a Nobel Prize. Leonard was awarded Nobel Prize in 1955. The content of the putsch was Einstein as a plagiarist. Anyone who support <coughs> the theory of relativity is a propagandist. The theory itself as a Dadaist, this, was, this word was actually actually uttered. Einstein's relativity principle could achieve general validity only by dreamy cups with the fields Lena retorted at one point. <coughs> this is quoted from the book of Eckhart, uh, which was uh, launched in uh, 2013 uh, in New York. As it was always in the past history of mankind, the physical picture of the world, mainly in the period from 1905 until the end of Second War, and subsequently to the present, once again began the subject of the struggle of international power structure at the highest political level. Mainly from 1920, after the Congress in Bad Neuheim, 
the 1925 German physicists disagreeing with establishing relativity as a single description of the physical world are isolated and persecuted. After the change of political power in Germany in 1933, the role of persecuted and persecutors reversed, and after 1945, again reversed back. Um, since the establishment of, of special, special and general relativity quantum mechanics, force field theories using force mediating particles, the Big Bang and the Higgs boson theories to the present hundreds of physicists and the many associations of physicists around the world in his work shows fatal errors and controversies of these theorems. A good overview of the physicists and the association of physicists, though not complete, can be found in the publication of 10 year lasting project, Geo Muller project, 95 years of criticism of special theory of relativity involving around 4,000 publications criticizing the theory. Uh, uh, I will not read the, the result, result of this, but they are very, very, very significant. Uh, in the next, I want to stop in the question of identity of inertial uh, gravitational forces. Newton found out, out that the physical cause of the order of the movement of celestial bodies is the existence of gravitational field as a real physical substance existing, existing in the surround, surrounding of each mass. <coughs> These gravitational fields around the mass body is inseparable from any mass body. At the same time, with the discovery of the gravitational field around each of existing mass, Newton discovers the existence of inertia, also inseparably link, linked with every mass body. Own inertia force of the one kilogram spherical body is measured in the mass center, for, in the middle for the spherical of this body, but its own gravitational force is measured at the distance of one meter, one meter from this mass center. About inertial, inertial forces um, emerging when body are accelerating, Newton doubts that its physical origin is now unknown to him. So he will not find its physical cause, but stays with the mathematical description of the inertial forces using quantity of acceleration of these bodies. Logically, the simplest physical conclusion which could do would lead Newton to determine the cause of inertial forces as the forces of the resistance of the body against the own medium of its gravitational fields. Inertial force of one kilogram of mass, however, is the enorm enormous, enormous power, 10 to 12 times stronger compared, compared to the gravitational force measured at a distance of one meter from its center. And Newton, in addition, didn't know his size of his own gravitational constant. This was measured by Cavendish in 1798. <coughs> Newton also didn't know the size and depth of the structure of matter into atoms, which are roughly 10 to minus 10, which was discovered by, by experimentally by Perry in 1913, and also the structure of protons, discovered in 1920 by Rutherford. <coughs> uh, these, these atoms and protons are the source and origin of manifestation of all forces of mass bodies. We can show, as we show in our previous paper, we 
which is present in Maryland proceedings, that the sum of gravitational forces on the surface of atoms of one kilogram mass body equals to its inertial forces. In this is a remarkable view of Newton that the <coughs> that right in the first paragraph, uh, that right, right in the first paragraph, when he defines mass states, I have no regards in this place, place of definition of quantity of matter to a medium, if any such there is, that freely pervades the interstices between the parts of bodies. <coughs> Likewise, assignment of great inertial forces to the existence of medium ether, however, would lead to the deceleration of body, bodies moving at a constant speed in the environment. The first initial principle of physics, science that Galileo and Newton, were without the influence of forces, body remains on the rest and uniform rectilinear like motion. For the past hundred years it is omitted that the absence of the resistance of water in uniform linear linear motion was the main agreement even at the condemnation of the ether at the time of interpretation of Mark Michels and Morley experiment. <coughs> this irrefutable contradiction ab about the mechanical resistance of the ether in the uniform motion of bodies in free env environment can, however, be removed after the discovery of depth of structuring of the mass and spin properties of all particles of matter in the last hundred years. Since the 1930s, we found that all elementary particles are rotating sphere spherical objects. From the results of dynamics and fluid mechanics of the continuum, we learned that on a spherical symmetric rotating body, moving in constant speed in an ideal fluid, only the same force from all directions perpendicular to the surface of spherical body exists. I mean the rotation, <coughs> rotating spherical, spherical object is not decelerated in uniform motion in an ideal fluid environment against the direction of its motion. In fact, this was even the evidence of Dallampert in, in about uh, 1750, which he formulated in his intuition. <coughs> The Dalembertian is equal to zero. The power of resistance of environment on a rotating body in a fluid environment in the direction of its motion is manifested only in the accelerating or decelerating of the body between the two speeds. The subsequent perpendicular pressure on the surface of rotating spherical body moving at constant velocity in fluid environment is proportional to, the, to his speed of motion in the environment. As a, as a result of the pressure changes of the surrounding environment on the spherical surface of the compressible rotational body occurs the, the change in the, in the radius of its volume. The current physics, however, this natural nature, nature relationship of equivalence of internal and in inertial and gravitational force has not revealed science in for a hundred